let me tell you a very important tale. Once upon a time, there was a society, a forest of trees. The forest and every single tree within that forest was held accountable for all of its actions. But some feared that someday, the trees would forcibly take over the other trees. Even though none of them had any more rights or power than the other, they were on equal ground and safe from anyone having the ability to rule them. But this fear got the best of them, and they hired a ruling class to keep them safe called the Axes. The Axe was held high above the rest and was held accountable to nobody. The Axe would take what it wanted when it wanted, make the rules, chop any tree, and the forest would just simply call that order and was just the price of living in a civilized forest because the axe convinced the forest. Without the axe, the forest would be cut down by its fellow trees. But deep down, the forest knew its fellow trees are equal and didn't have the divine ruling power of a powerful axe. And if it wasn't for the axe, they would not only all be equal, but they would be finally free from the rule of a tyrannical ruling class known as the Axe. To keep the forest completely blind to this obvious fact, the Axes devised a very clever plan. To stay in power, the Axes would often promise free stuff, which was then forcibly stolen from other trees with the threat of being chopped down, and then the Axes would then give the free stuff to those who vote for them. The incentive of free things viciously helped the Axes keep power by rewarding those who surrender power over to the Axes and let the Axes rule them. Most importantly, this kept the trees hostile to anyone who opposes the axes and their tyrannical grip on society. Because if anyone tried to overthrow the axes, they unfortunately could no longer receive things for free. The axes often lended out their abusive power to those who would vote for them, allowing others to act on their greed and steal from other neighboring trees. If not that, steal their rights and to force their fellow neighboring trees to live exactly like them. The trees grew accustomed to and even addicted to stealing the rights of their fellow trees. There was an obvious problem that no one in society was blind to. The rights of the trees in the forest were quickly all vanishing. The amount of labor they needed to do to afford things drastically increased. Over time, something became viciously apparent. The forest was shrinking extremely fast, but the trees kept voting for the wicked axe. For the axe was very clever and convinced the trees that because his handle was made of wood, he was just one of them. And they were now in constant debt to other neighboring forests. But the axes convinced the trees they would never have to pay this debt because it's just far too high and just to ignore it and lash out at anyone who finds it concerning. Also, the axes taught that the deforestation of society was actually not a bad thing, but in fact was a good thing. The axes told the trees they were striving more than ever. They called the blatant deforestation of society axonomics. And they should be not only happy, they should be unbelievably thankful that they have the axes around. There was something very unfortunate going on that no one was paying attention to. The entirety of the forest wasn't wise to the fact both sides were equally losing rights and limbs. And in the end, no one really had any rights on either side. The problem the forest didn't notice was the enemy wasn't one set of trees versus the other, but in fact was the axes that ruled over them and were held accountable to no one. And no one was winning but the axes. Very unfortunately, the trees didn't take notice of this obvious truth until it was far too late. Timber and the last tree crashes hard to the ground. 